So today I'm going to talk about shop task tool posts. This is a shop task 1720 XMTC from 1998. It's a three in one uh, machine. Uh, on this machine, we have uh, 100 millimeters from the table to the center of the spindle. So that's the correct tool height, give or take a smidge, uh, for all of the tools. The standard tool post is one of these uh, four corner turret ones, which if you use the half inch shank tools, uh, this will take it up to 100 millimeters thereabouts. There's a little bit of variation and there's not a lot of adjustment. You can shim them up, but obviously you can't go down. Um, I did at one point add this uh, cutoff tool, which has a higher uh, size, and I had to mill away some of this to so I have somewhere to put that. And that kept me going uh, for a long time. But I thought I could do better. Um, so I purchased this thing, which is the Shop Task Factory Quick Change Tool Post. Oh. Which is, as you can see, quite a massive piece of kit. Uh, however, it's not your normal Alora style. There is no dovetails here. We've just got a flat channel. Uh, they're non-standard holders. For some reason, the compound is mounted onto a tool position so that and, and the tool points forwards, not across the way. So when you traverse this, you can actually you know, cut with it. You have, it, I never figured out how to use this. It makes no sense. Uh, the other problem with this is that the slots are narrower. I think they're 12 millimeters. So I had to actually mill down my existing tooling to get in it. So this thing went in the drawer, didn't get used for a very long time. Until one day I decided to buy myself a multi-fix tool post. So for the multi-fix, uh, so just to show you, these original ones are suspended on these bolts and they have a uh, thing like this that goes into that to hold it down. Uh, for the multi-fix I made up one of these uh, to use this same block that was already there which is cast iron which is nice. So the three diameters, one is to fit in the existing diameter there and then the tool post has uh, two diameters in it so I machined to fit those and then that goes on like that and we have our washer uh, this goes on this way it goes on there and then we have a half inch uh, flange nut on the top with the uh, the knurls this was originally knurled on the bottom uh, have that polished off to give us a nice uh, connection for the multi-fix which works wonderfully uh, now, something you have with these, this is the Pee Wee Tools version of the Multifix, is they have these locating holes. And this, in the original Multifix, there's just one of these. Uh, in the uh, Pee Wee Tool ones, what they've done is these are, uh, so these, these nubbins here are all nine degrees apart. These are three degrees apart, or three degrees offset from the nine degrees so you can use your locating pin to get you yourself to a three degree accuracy what i did wrong originally installing this is when i reamed out my six millimeter locating pin hole there's some wiggle in that so i, I screwed that up so i can actually use the locating pin to line up the post when i mount the post i have to line it up at the face of the chuck which is a little annoying but not too bad but i'm going to have a go at uh redoing this hole farther round and see if we can get it in the right position and actually make that pin useful. So that's the project for today. So to find the center, so I'm going to try and use the wiggler to find the center of this hole. If I had gauge pins, I would use gauge pins, but I don't have gauge pins. So we'll see how this goes. We're running about 600 RPM. I've already eyeballed it to approximate center. So so I sped this part up, we're uh, using the wiggler to touch off on either side and then using uh, the zero on one side, go to the other side, spot the, ki the kick off and then uh, hit the half button on the MPG. And uh, I should in fact have gone back and done the X after I did the Y, so do the X and then the Y and then the X, but I, I neglected to do that, but it worked out okay. 
If you're enjoying this content, please give me a like and maybe even click the subscribe button because I will keep doing this if anybody's interested. If not, I'll keep doing it anyway. Ideally, I'd want to go in with a 6mm spotting drill, but I don't have one. Uh, so this is a 1564th, which is, I think, 4th out under. Uh, and it has a very sharp point on it, so we'll try and spot with this. I don't want to drill with this because it's too close to the final size, but I do want to spot with it. So when I go in with my uh, undersized drill, it's not going to wander to one side. So this is a spotting attempt. The upper part of these holes is 6.7 millimeters and it just narrows down to uh, 6 millimeters near the bottom. What I'm doing here is just eyeballing the depth for this uh, drill. This is the slightly under uh, 6 millimeter size, so we're just spotting with this one. should be spotted. space for the chuck with the nut but we do have the hole now position but if I unclamp it the post is going to move so I need to find another way to clamp the post to the table the speed down to 375 for the reamer. We're going to go half an inch deep. Uh, here goes. dust out there before we finish the hole. some there's still some wobble there so either I can't ream worth a damn 
Well, my reamer's bad. And is it tighter than it used to be? Yes. Tight enough. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, with the post in place, there is very little play there. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's take these off. Let's see how it is. Yeah, that's that's pretty tight. I mean, there's very tiny amount, but probably good enough for laying up parting blade, which is one that really matters. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Works good providing I force it anti-clockwise when I tighten up.